ever so often the history and successes of our nations has watched one of the cultural beauties of the state, the Gateway State. And earlier before we saw the cultural display, you saw the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria walk in with uh, the governor of Ogo State, Ibikuli Amusu. President Muhammad Buhari has been in Ogo State since yesterday evening to felicitate to with the state who clocks 40. Ogo State was created in 1976. And of course, Ogo State is not the only state which was created in 1976. We have Ondo State who is also who will be celebrating its 40th this year and some other states. May I also remind you that this is the second day of the, present, of the President's Day in the Gateway State. And this goes to show the much love that um, is radiating over the state from uh, the federal unit. Um, when the President arrived yesterday, he landed at Idebu Day and that is the point where he moved on to pay a courtesy call on the Awujale of Ijebu land. And from there, we retired to the stadium where we had an awesome display of the choreography and the children's display on the field to welcome Mr. President to the state. Also, that was in commemoration of the 40th anniversary of the Gateway State. Earlier today, the president had gone on to commission some projects in the state, particularly within Abe Okuta. Uh, the president commissioned the ultra modern markets complex at Omida in Abe Okuta. He also commissioned a flyover bridge at Itoku. That particular bridge is named after the late Olufemilai Ransom Kuti and the ultra-modern market also at Sakmo. The president uh, and the governor also moved immediately with the other ministers and dignitaries and also state officials. They all moved to visit the paramount ruler of Egbaland, the Alake of Egbaland, Oba Aremu, Badibo. It was from there that the president made an, a grand entry into the Three Hills Estate. We do understand that this estate would be named after President Muhammadu Buhari. Right now, the program is going on. To be sure that we maintain peace. Because with peace, we are sure we're going to have progress. And that we have been achieving. In spite of all odds, because we have not been well treated, but we keep working hard to make sure we sustain the peace. And that is why you have so many factories going around. And we are very lucky to have our present governor, who is providing the infrastructures for further progress. Ah, we are indeed very grateful to the Almighty God for what He has done for us and for the good relationship that we have enjoyed in this state. We are very bearing because the robots are known to be suffer in silence. We smile even though we are suffering. Uh, we only appeal that after this, they will look into our cases because we have not been well treated. That I keep repeating. As the chairman of the Ogun State Council of Abbas, we thank everybody who has joined in making this celebration a great success. Thank you and God bless. Now move on to the Awujale and Paramount ruler of Ijebu land over Dr. S.K. Adetona Ogbagba II. Ka 
KBC has directed me to move to the Alake and Paramount ruler of Ekbalan, over Dr. Adedotu Aremukbarebo, Okukeno the fourth. KBC. Your Excellency, the President and Commander in Chief of Africa's largest armed forces and the best equipped. If it's not so, just wait a few more weeks and months, and you will agree with me. Chief Al Haji Muhammad Buhari has been called or more widely, that is our own, has returned home. Maybe you didn't know why. The first place, the young officer in 1963, January, first place he served in Nigeria on returning from overseas training was in Abe Okuta. So the general knows all the streets of Abekuta then and the narrow streets that we had. Now he's back here and everywhere you have three lanes minimum. We welcome you, our indefatigable and committed Nigeria. We welcome you because we know with your kind of leadership there's hope for this country. We knew we couldn't have continued the way we were going because at the end of the day, the whole of Africa would not have been able to take the refugees that will flow from here to those places. I congratulate our governor, Senator Ibikunle Amosu, CONFCA, for what he has been able to do in Ogu State in the last four and a half years. Without infrastructure, there's nothing to build on. This is why what he has done is a very good foundation. And by the time he finishes with us, in three and a half years' time, we believe we would be one of the best and indeed the destination of choice to industrialists who come to Nigeria. I welcome all our visitors who are here. And I pray that when you come back, to celebrate 50 years of Ogu State, and many of you will come back. You will still be alive. I will be alive. And I believe all of us will come back to celebrate a very modern state with the best roads, the best schools, the best hospitals, the best agricultural projects, and of course, a very educated and a very educated citizenry who are well employed, gainfully employed. Unemployment will be zero at that time. And of course, corruption, the canker worm that is trying to destroy this country would have been totally killed by then. Once again, I say thank you to all of you and God bless you all. God bless you. From Egba land, I move straight to Ijebu land again. And I'm going by private jets to KBAC, His Royal Majesty, Oba Dr. S.K. Adetono Ogbagba II. KBAC. Your Excellency, Mr. President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Omar Buhari. Excellency, the former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Chief Obasanjo, Your Excellency, the former president, Chief Shudeko, Your Excellency, our dear governor of Ogun State, former governors, your Royal Highnesses, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. When we talk of a good state at 40, 